What you're about to see is something I thought we'd never see again in New Japan. This is my reaction to it. Let's do this. Kandibushi. Go oh, wait, what? Huh? What? Zack Sabre Jr. is not burnt, Kevin. No, but that's Why is that coming out? What's he up to? On tonight's card. Well, Taichi he said uh, backstage after his match with Tanahashi that uh, he was going to take submit a request to the company to take some time away to get his body right before World Tag League. That makes so sense in Taichi's behalf. But that barely gives him a month to recover for the Tag League tournament. Nope. He's dressed to... What's he up to? What does he want? What's he up to? What? What the? No! It can't be! What the? Don't tell me! Is this for real? After 1657 days? Shibata! 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 Oh my god! Shibata! Oh, what the heck is going Shit. on? I thought we were going to hear from Zach. What? What the hell's going on? You are kidding. An exhibition? Five minute special exhibition. You don't have rules, Matt. What the hell? Are you kidding? Why only five minutes? Why are we? Friends that are still asleep, give them a call right now and tell them that Katsuyo Shibat is about to wrestle Zack Sabre Jr. in 2021. A five minute exhibition match. Here we go. Here we go. Shibata is going to make every second count. Oh my God. All right, so explain to me what UWF rules will mean. UWF rules will mean a lot of different things to different promotions. Uh, in New Japan, in the past, it has meant no pinfall submission or a knockout. Uh, ordinarily, we would have a point system under UWF rules, but here, a one-round system, five minutes. Shabbat really keep trying to go after me. It's a That's grapple rule only know. match from what I understand. Are, are losing their minds right now as well with Shabbat as their trainer. And just the idea of being able to see Shabbat in any form of competition in the New Japan ring. And you think this is Zack Sabre Jr.'s first steps in a New Japan ring were against Katsuyo Shibata over the British Heavyweight Championship. And Take down by Shibata. He covers up. Body scissors by Zack. Remember, no strikes in this. Shibata still needs convincing. That's not just the case. And this is a, a scenario where maybe he was able to convince them, okay, I can do this. Well, just let me compete. Well, Kevin, I, it, it takes me back to 1997 when Satoru Sayama, the original Tiger Mask, uh, came back to New Japan after really being exiled for 15 years. And he had that exhibition match with Jushin Thunder Liger, if you remember. Um, and then that turns into him wrestling Antonio Inoki in the Tokyo. Wait, so this, I forgot again, to do this. This crowd is...
Single leg by Zach by Shibata. Lifts it over the head, but takes Zach down, going for the figure four. Zach blocking. And you got figure 3,861 in the Budokan have lost their minds, even if they can't verbally express it. Zach gets free by twisting the ankle. Now going for a version of his stretch muffler. Shibata breaks free into the side headlock. Takedown. Head scissors by Zach. And now he's cranking it. I mean, Shibata hasn't been in the ring in over four years. We all know what happened the last time he got in the wrestling ring as an active competitor. Shibata slot head stands out. Grabs the ankle. Zach grabbing for the leg. Trying to break that grip. And with Shibata's foot on his now he gets free. Zach breaks out, rolls out, and they separate. Remember, this is only five minutes. Maybe we've gone through about two, maybe three of them. Greco Roman double knuckle lock. Shibata with the leverage. Zach reverses. But Shibata put, regains the grounding. Neck twist, I mean, neck, I mean, straight jacket, and a straight jacket choke by Shibata. Zach reverses back. Bow and arrow straight jacket style. Or a surfboard, I can't tell which. Shibata fl fl floats over. Gets Zach into one of his own. Gets free. Side headlock. Shabbat trying to shove him loose. Again, under strict grappling rules, holding on for Zach is the best thing he can do. Oh, sleeper! Sleeper! Under normal conditions, this would be set up for the PK. Cobra twist! But Zach fending it off. Reversal. Trying to get him into the Cobra twist of his own. Shibata blocking. Widening the base. Uh oh, I think Zach's got it on and it's in a seated position. That's. Oh, God. Now it's in. No, Shibata gets out. Now he's got it in. Oh, time's up. Time's up. It's a draw. And Zach and Shabbat want another five minutes just for the heck of it. But maybe one day soon, Shabbat will be allowed to compete actively again. I'm starting to question, is Zach turned over a new leaf of sorts? I mean, it was Zabat, a match with Shabbat that got him into Suzuki Goon. Wait a minute. Shabbat extending his hand, saying, one more match down the line? And Zach saying, yes! Okay, I did not expect this. What's Shabbat got to say? Thank Zach? Thanks. I understood that much. Next time, I'm in this ring. 
I want it to be a match. That's it. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Next time Shibata wants to be in that ring, it's going to be for a match. Uh, for those wondering why I muted it about halfway through the stream, I wanted to avoid getting in trouble with New Japan and for an audio strike. So I cut most, so about halfway through the match, I cut the, cut the, I muted the tab. Sorry if you couldn't hear anything else after about a minute and a half, two minutes into the match, but had to do it that way. That being said, this was something I don't think any of us ever expected would happen. But again, will Shibata be back in the ring full-time? Or at the very least, part-time, since he is training the LA Dojo talents? We'll see. Leave a comment, smash the like button, sub the channel, give me some... Give me a 411 if you thought what you thought of my commentary on the match. Goodbye. Good night. Bang.